Given f of x equals four times natural log of cosine x, we want to find f prime of x, f prime of pi over four, f double prime of x, and f double prime of pi over four. The first thing we should notice about our function is that it's a composite function where the outer function is a natural log function and the inner function is cosine x. And since we have a composite function, to find our first derivative, we will have to apply the chain rule. I've provided the derivative formulas given here in red that include the chain rule where u is equal to the inner function and therefore the derivatives are a product where the first factor is the derivative of the outer function and the second factor u prime is the derivative of the inner function. So again, going back to f of x, since cosine x is the inner function, we'll let u equal cosine x. So if u is equal to cosine x, we'll go ahead and find u prime, the derivative of u with respect to x, which would be negative sine x. Which means f prime of x would be equal to the derivative of four natural log u, which would be equal to four times one over u times u prime. So we have four times one over u, which is one over cosine x, times u prime, which we already know is negative sine x. So again, we've applied the chain rule here, where this is the derivative of the outer function, and this is the derivative of the inner function. So now we'll go ahead and simplify. This would give us negative four times sine x divided by cosine x. Well, sine x divided by cosine x is equal to tangent x, so this simplifies nicely to negative four tangent x. So to find f prime of pi over four, we'll substitute pi over four for x into our derivative function. So we'd have negative four times tangent of pi over four. Well, pi over four is a nice reference angle. It's a 45 degree reference angle. So let's go ahead and sketch a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle. Where if this is pi over four radians, we can label the two legs with a length of one and the hypotenuse with a length of square root two. So tangent pi over four is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, which would be one divided by one which is equal to one, so this is equal to negative four times one, which is equal to negative four. Remember, this tells us two things. First, at x equals pi over four, the slope of the tangent line is negative four, and also since the first derivative is negative, that means the function is decreasing at x equals pi over four. And now to find f double prime of x, we'll find the derivative of the first derivative, so we'll find the derivative of negative four tangent x which would be equal to negative four times the derivative of tangent x, which is equal to secant squared x. Notice how because tangent x is not a composite function, we didn't have to apply the chain rule given by this formula here, but even if we did, notice how u would be equal to x, which means u prime would be equal to one, giving us the same derivative. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as negative four secant squared x. And now to find f double prime of pi over four, we'll substitute pi over four for x. So we'll have negative four times secant squared of pi over four. Let's go back to our reference triangle. Secant pi over four would be equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse to adjacent side, which would be square root two divided by one. So that means we'll have negative four times square root two squared, because it's secant squared pi over four. Well, square root two squared is two. Negative four times two is equal to negative eight. The sign of the second derivative tells us about the concavity. And since f double prime of pi over four is equal to negative eight, that means our function should be concave down at x equals pi over four. Let's go ahead and verify this. Here's the graph of the given function. Here's the point when x equals pi over four. Notice if we sketch a tangent line at this point, it would look something like this. And since f prime of pi over four was equal to negative four, the slope of this tangent line is equal to negative four. Also notice that the function is decreasing at this point. 
And since f double prime of pi over four was equal to negative eight, notice how the function is also concave down at this point. Okay, I hope you found this example helpful.